Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to start your training sessions. And I'm not gonna be talking about what is the type of warm up you should be doing or what type of drills you should be doing. That's really up to you. But really what I wanna break down here is how to set standards with your program so when you begin your training sessions, they flow perfectly. And here's step one, all right? I'm gonna break this into three steps. Step one is you have to set the tone with parents. And remember, you're dealing not just with kids, you're dealing with parents and their kids. Parents are always gonna drive their kids to your session. So if you are dealing with parents who are uncommitted, it doesn't matter how committed the kid is, you're going to have a nightmare <laughs> of a client. You need to be working with parents who are committed and kids who are equally as committed. And the way you do that is you do what I've talked about in other videos. You need to have a contract. You need to have a contract that states what you require. What are your expectations? And again, 99% of coaches don't even think about having a contract. They think that if they have clients that even if they show up late, that it's okay. And I see a lot of coaches, they get run over all the time by parents and they come to me and these, these coaches come to me and complain about, well, you know, they show up 15 minutes late. They show up 30 minutes late. They cancel right before the session or they don't even text me to cancel. I see that happen all the time. The contract will eliminate all of that stuff from happening. Okay. And if you want to learn how to get that contract, click this button up here. It'll take you to a page where I just give it to you. Okay. Next, if you have the contract in place, this means that you've already spoken to the parents about your expectations. And one of my expectations I have with every kid that I personally train is they have to show up 15 minutes early. The parents understand that they know when they are going to be training with me over the course of a year, they have to show up early. So what this does is it allows me, I could be training from, let's say I train from four to five, five to six and six to seven. At my four to five session, I'm gonna get there early, I'm gonna set up. I get there typically 20 minutes early. I set up my stuff. Player one comes at 345. They're doing their warm up on their own, All right? I'm probably gonna be talking to them, but they're gonna be doing their warm up on their own. And at four o'clock, our session begins. I train them and at 4.45, player two shows up. They're doing their warm up while I'm still training player number one. And at five o'clock, that session starts. At 5.45, player three shows up. They're doing their warm up and then we begin. So I begin on the hour, every hour. And what I'm not gonna do though, is I'm not gonna waste time in my session where we're doing our warm up for 15 or 20 minutes. These kids are not training with you to do, to get good at warmups. They're training with you to get better at the thing that they struggle with. And so if you have them come early, they knock out their warmup, that piece to your session is complete and you can start on time. And again, when you have that set up, parents understand that they have to show up early now. It's not, it's not this negotiable thing. Like they have to do it. And if they don't, they're gonna be losing out time in the session, okay? So that again, is very important. But it, when you have this contract that I talk about that I'm going to give to you when you become part of our mastermind program, that is going to eliminate so many things that normally happen. Like I know kids that don't show up on time, <clears throat> they'll never be committed. And it's really, sometimes it's not their fault. It could be their parents' fault. And that again comes down to having a process when you talk to parents, setting the tone with them, having them sign a contract. So this way, they have skin in the game and they're serious. And that is going to weed out uncommitted clients, which is my favorite thing to do. I don't ever wanna train kids who don't wanna be there. And I don't think any coach in their right mind, if they really think about their business, they don't want to train kids who don't wanna be there. Like that's just a headache. And think about how much more excited you are when you actually get to train kids who want to be there, that show up on time, that get the result. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. Like I said, click on this button up here. If you have any questions for me, comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. I'll see you on the next video.